what's really going on. Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, currently Cardano. Uh, price action still looking for support down below. We do have this $1.93 key level here. Currently, the 0.618 Feba Bugatti line acting as a potential area of support. We're looking for a continued buy pressure off of this key level. We're looking for a potential interaction with this 200 daily moving average. I do believe a bullish bounce off of it would be very you know, bullish for the uptrend overall in the long term. And the more we can find support along it, the more bullish we can be in the longer term, in my opinion. Failure to hold uh, this kind of key range just down below us will bring us all the way down to this uh, most bullish area of technical support, in my opinion. $1.57 per Cardano is going to be a key area of potential accumulation if we fail to hold um, you know, this buy pressure just below. Um, so we're currently looking for continued support um, just below price action. Price is a little too close to resistance in my opinion. $2.18 still waiting to give us a hard time. Prices are currently coming out of an interaction with it. A very a mildly strong rejection in my opinion as we look for continued support downward here. On the 9th of November, price action was bullish enough to print this by four. Um, and so in the previous Cardano analysis, we did have a different combination of robo advisors. And so in addition to this buy four was the buy two present. And that was two of our chosen three robo advisors bullish on price action, suggesting a bullish area of accumulation. However, in my opinion, I was still suggesting in previous analysis um, that we are too close to resistance and I am waiting for continued uh, buy pressure off of support down below. I've also changed the combination of robo advisors present. I do believe this is a more bullish combination to be considering and waiting for confirmations from uh, we're looking out for a second robo advisor to become bullish because without that buy two present we only have a buy four supporting upside uh, we need two of our chosen three robo advisors to become bullish or bearish to use that as a confirmation of accumulation or take profit and so at the moment we're waiting for a second robo advisor to become bullish we're looking for continued buy pressure off of support down below watch out for an interaction with one dollar and 57 cents if we make our way downward here watch out for the break of two dollars and 18 cents as we make our way upward here i am still bullish on the uptrend overall at current levels we're just looking for these technical key confirmations and further solidification of support in my opinion before we could make our way upward. Wait for daily candles to open and close above $2.18 to confirm it as a bullish area of accumulation. My next immediate short-term target uh, for Cardano is going to be $2.83. That is going to be the next resistance overhead once we have broken to 18. Um, if you look at our previous uh, buy signals, this bullish area of accumulation back at the beginning of August, we experienced up to 125% in gains after those buy signals showed up. And if you weren't able to sell above at or around that swing high, you still were able Able to capitalize on 66% ROI when our robo advisors became bearish on price action. And after those sell signals came into play, we did experience up to uh, you know, 21% in downside before a bullish area of accumulation has presented itself here. We are still waiting for the most um, you know, bullish area of comfortable accumulation to appear as we wait for further support and buy signals to return. This is a very you know, bullish combination of robo advisors. So once we have you know, confirmations of upside from them, we can get more comfortably bullish on said upside. Watch out for resistance overhead, $2.18. Let me know down below what you're doing with Cardano currently. W-I-N against Tether, uh, Wink coin. Uh, making its way upward here, interaction with these key levels here. Price action under the influence of buy signals ever since the first week of October. Uh, since that bullish area of accumulation, uh, we have experienced up to um, you know, 76% in upside over the following 41 days, currently sitting on you know 51% in gains at current levels with no sell signals present. We can anticipate continued upside here. Uh, you know, we look at, we're looking at support and buy pressure present here for us at this key level, 0.0007069 is going to be the key level of potential support that we may uh, require another interaction off of before we make our way upward here. However, we are very bullish on continued upside, and I suspect interaction with this upcoming resistance, 0 0.0013057 uh, very soon here. That is going to be the next key level to watch out for. A break and confirmation of it as support will send us to my next immediate short-term target for this coin, 0 0.0022593. That is going to be the um, you know upper target of resistance. We are waiting for interaction with as we make our way upward here. Look out for support down below. We're looking at price action supported by buy signals ever since the beginning of October. In addition to prices above this 200 daily moving average, uh, we may experience an interaction with it and a bounce off of it to further confirm the you know, longer term uptrend. However, we may not. So look out for potential interaction with this 200 daily moving average as we make our way upward here. Uh, if you look at our previous buy signals coming into play, bullish area of accumulation uh, ever since the 25th of July here. 
After accumulation, we experienced up to 137% in gains, easily well over doubling your money with engineering robos by suggestions. Um, and so if you weren't able to sell above at or around that swing high, you were still able to capitalize on 50% ROI when engineering robo became bearish on price action. And as you can see, uh, when two of our chosen three robo advisors became bearish on price action, we experienced up to 27% in downside uh, before becoming bullish again. And so engineering robo is not used to determine the exact top or bottom of any market, but is used to decipher the best areas of accumulation and take profit that have the highest chances of success. And so you pick three of the many different robo advisors available. Once two of your chosen three robo advisors give you a bullish or bearish suggestion, you could use that as a confirmation of accumulation or take profit. And so at the moment, we are looking at price action supported by some very bullish buy signals, prices above this uh, key moving average suggesting an uptrend. And we are coming off of a very bullish interaction with support. Watch out for resistance overhead. Let me know down below what you're doing with this coin at current levels. Um, now, COMP against USDT, what do we have here? Price action under the influence of buy signals. All three of our chosen robo advisors bullish on price action ever since the 3rd of November here, suggesting this bullish area of accumulation with anticipated upside. Uh, we're looking for continued interaction off of support here. Tremendous buy pressure down below. In my opinion, the most bullish area of accumulation for this coin is going to be all the way down at $293 uh, per comp. That is going to be a key area of technical support. We are waiting for perhaps another interaction with. However, the buy pressure is very much potent near current levels. We're watching out for uh, local resistance overhead. $339 uh, looking to give us a hard time uh, at current levels. We're waiting for a break upward and perhaps confirmation of it as support as we make our way to my immediate short-term target for this coin. The significant area of resistance waiting for us. $406. Uh, that is going to be the key level of resistance. We are waiting for a break and confirmation of as support. Once you've confirmed support, my next target for uh, this coin is $551. That is going to be just the next area of resistance waiting for us once we've confirmed that, um, you know, key $406 level. Price action still under this 200 daily moving average, suggesting sell pressure uh, currently, uh, which may cause some, you know, continued sideways consolidation and accumulation as we solidify this support and reestablish the uptrend. I do believe we are very much near support and an area of accumulation, and the uptrend will very much take place once uh, support has been solidified. Let me know down below where you think price action will go. What are you doing with this coin at current levels? Um, now, Ethereum price action falling back into this range of sideways and accumulation. We failed to hold that recently added key level there. $4,610 per Ethereum now may be waiting for us as potential resistance as we look for continued support off of previous key level here. This bullish area of accumulation, $4,381 is down below at support. We're waiting for daily candles opening and closing above it to further confirm it as support. Um, you know, we also have support down below, $4,197 per Ethereum waiting for a price action as well, even though the most bullish area of support is still all the way down at $3,927 per Ethereum. So there is a lot of support waiting for us in any sort of downside that we may experience. Any sort of short-term downside or sideways that we do experience um, in the immediate short-term here is very bullish for the trend in the long-term, in my opinion. And I very much believe that these are some very bullish areas to be accumulating Ethereum with anticipated upside. We are very much in an uptrend. I believe it's very hard to be bearish uh, on Ethereum at current levels. And until some very abrupt changes in momentum occur, we are still looking very bullish on continued upside. So I would accumulate through these lows while you can. Let me know what you're doing with Ethereum though at current levels. Now, Bitcoin, crypto, the currency currently still sideways, a rejection, resistance overhead, uh, $64,875 per Bitcoin, still resistance. We are waiting for a break of and a confirmation of as support potentially. Price action making its way all the way down to this recently added key uh, level here of potential buy pressure and bullish support. $60,855 per Bitcoin is looking like support here for us. And we see price action come very hilariously close to it, reaching lows um, near $60,980 per Bitcoin. So uh, we're looking for continued support off of this key level in the 60K range. The most bullish area of support is still going to be 58800 That is going to be the most uh, bullish area 
of technical buy pressure waiting for us. However, we have just experienced significant buy pressure within this, um, you know, 60K level, um, you know, for the past few weeks here. So we're looking for continued buy pressure down below. As I mentioned, $58,800 is going to be a more bullish area of accumulation. An opportunity to buy Bitcoin below 60K may present itself here. Uh, however, growing increasingly unlikely, the stronger the buy pressure is uh, near current levels and the tighter we can stay sideways, the more momentum we will be building. However, watch out for a potential buy opportunity below 60K uh, before we experience some very euphoric upside. I still anticipate a six-figure Bitcoin sooner than expected. Let me know down below where you think price action will go. What are your thoughts on Bitcoin at current levels if you're bullish or bearish here? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for hearing my analysis. Check out Engineering Robo for free with a link in the description. Subscribe here on YouTube. Check out all the other social media down below and tune in for the next one.